The Nigeria Immigration Service and a firm contracted by the federal government for the production of Nigeria passports, Iris Smart Technologies Limited, have blamed the Central Bank of Nigeria's foreign exchange policy for the scarcity of booklets. They made the allegation when they both appeared before the House of Representatives ad hoc committee investigating the proposed domestication and processing of the Nigerian international passports. The firm also accused the Nigerian Nigerian security printing and minting company PLC of sabotaging its efforts after failing to secure the contract for the production of the passports. The report. Since 2015, thousands of Nigerians in the diaspora and at home have applied for, paid for, and have been captured, but are yet to be issued their international passport booklets. The House is concerned that Nigeria does not produce its own passports, despite owning a minting and printing company. The firm contracted by the federal government for the production of Nigerian passports told the ad hoc committee that prior to their engagement by the federal government, the country had a shabby passport administration. The government discarded those booklets because they were substandard and didn't meet ICAO standards and then decided to have an international tender for the production and embedding of chips. Uh, five companies were invited. Uh, three foreign companies, uh, security and printing, and ourselves to submit bids. When the bids were analyzed, uh, security and printing company bids were found to be technically incompetent. They were the most expensive. The Art Hot Committee also grilled the Controller General of the Nigeria Immigration Service, Idris Jerry, at its investigative hearing. Idris said the NIS does not have access to the forex it generates and attributed the shortage of booklets to the unavailability of foreign exchange from the CBN to aid production outside the country. The NIS boss also decried the absence of a producing factory in Nigeria, noting that a travel document is produced abroad. Three, scarce foreign exchange due to dwindling government foreign revenue earnings, mainly because of continued fall in value of Naira, coupled with the inability of service to access dollar component from the contract agreements. The committee may wish to know that all our foreign revenue earnings that comes in dollar components goes direct to JP Morgan account. We don't access it. We sell passport outside, we don't get covered. So the local revenue we, we utilize to fund the foreign operations. The ad hoc committee is expected to meet with the CBN on issues raised as more Nigerians continue to apply for their passports, despite the fact that they may not get it anytime soon.